Good morning, YouTube. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm out here in my pickup truck waiting on a U-Haul, actually. We're uh, running HVAC out of a U-Haul today because the service van, the ProMaster, broke down that I normally drive, and that's at the shop. So it needs some transmission work, I think, catalytic converter, um, some other things. So we need to do a commercial cleaning today on a boiler in Vermont, and it's a pretty good-sized boiler, dual nozzles. I'll try to get some video of that pretty interesting stuff um, I like working on that bigger equipment sometimes it's a nice little change so yeah we've done a Bosch install this week out of my truck so check it out we have my tools and my co-workers tools his veto bag my veto bags are back here and yeah my truck's kind of loaded up like a HVAC truck right now but I just went to the gym today I trained legs and a little bit of shoulders I like to kind of split up my body parts, train legs, maybe throw in a little bit of shoulder volume and kind of split almost like full body in a way, but I kind of, I've been training smarter lately, so I actually don't get burnt out. Coming off of my contest prep and coming back into work and everything, it's been an increase of calories, so I can stay, I'm finding that nice balance of healthy food, a good amount of calories to train, where I'm not burning myself out and doing too many sets, too many reps and hitting failure often, which, tends to make me feel run down on the job and I hate one thing one thing I'm gonna say about lifting and HVAC or plumbing or any trade for that matter you have to be careful because if you push your volume too high in the gym you're gonna it will affect your work performance so I hate coming to work and not having the performance to really whether it be an install service work to be moving around on that job site the way I need to to get things done efficiently just keep that in mind training if you're in the trades guys but yeah anyways this u-haul should be here any minute my co-worker's going to pick it up and we're going to get this day started so stay tuned try to grow those calves it's a never-ending struggle for me with these chicken calves but i feel like lately i'm getting actually a little bit of size so it's kind of weird for calf training just staying consistent really hitting that squeeze on the way up and i've been slowing it down on the way down in the gym and it seems like I don't know. They're not great, but there's something there now. <laughs> ah, dude, what are you doing? Yes. Yeah, but you got to do the other one too sometimes. I do one at a time. Yeah, you have to do one at a time. Yes. Unless you do a bunch of weight and you're doing uh, Unless you do a bunch of weight and then you're doing both, you know? Right. Do you ever twist them too? Twist them at the top? No, like this. So you start off like on the outside, so you're getting the outside part, oh, yeah. and then you twist yeah. them on the inside. Where you ever you rotate your toes? See, I know how to work out. Because I don't doesn't mean I hate <laughs> Anyway, guys, I've never shown my truck on here. I just put these fuel, these bronze fuel rims on recently, and it's dirty. So it looks a lot better cleaned up. And I had to replace the front bumper as well, put in these LED fogs. That thing was rusting out right there, but cleaned it up a little bit. I want to do some LED headlights eventually, but I love this truck. So my wheels are a zero offset with 12 and a half, 17, 35s, Nitto Ridge Grapplers. And I like the little bit of poke that these rims and tires give, just the right amount for me. I don't really like fender flares. I just like that look there with the fenders the way they are and a little bit of poke. I just think that's clean. These are two of my bags. I need to do a review on this Tech OT LC. Vito sent me this bag and I've been meaning to do a review. I was supposed to do a review for them. So Vito, if you're watching, I haven't forgot. I'm gonna get a full review on this bag and stay tuned for that guys. Let me know if you guys would like to see more loadouts on my channel of tool bags and what I use and like how I, how I use them and how I set them up for different applications and stuff, but two of the vetoes right there. This is my go-to TP4B. I'm gonna do a loadout on that, show you guys the way I do things. And like I said, this one will be coming shortly as well. Lately though, I can't lie, I've been using this fanny pack from Rigid. It's a Rigid car collab. I'm sure a lot of you guys might think this is tacky, but honestly on the job site, I do a lot of installations and stuff. It's right here at all times. It's the same thing as any other you know tool belt in my opinion this thing works slick i keep a pair of wire strippers 11 and one scissors these whisk scissors must have for hvac in my opinion 
Then I'll keep whatever else, depending on the job I'm doing. I got markers, little micro multi screwdriver by Klein, my fluke voltage detector. This is a little Bosch screwdriver that comes with the thermostats when you hook up the BC100s. They have a little thermostat in the bottom of the, the box. So I'm telling you, I don't know if this is a trend already or if I'm gonna if I'm gonna uh, start it, but someone's got to do it. This just makes this just makes too much sense in my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments. First job before the soil cleaning is a PM on this rooftop unit. Looks like the drain's going. It's running right now. It's a good sign. Just gonna clean the coils, air filters, stuff like that. This one doesn't look that bad though, so it should be pretty straightforward. Beautiful morning out here. Dude, what's up with that bullshit though? trying this new Calgon new blast this is a condenser coil cleaner we've used their uh, evaporator cleaner which we're gonna use today but we don't have a hose hook up here so it's gonna be easier to use this pump sprayer it does say no rinse I still like to give it a little rinse down but we're gonna see how this stuff works the coils aren't that dirty on this one feelings on honestly the one for the condensers went so fast when you spray it very high pressure and it just kind of like blows out whatever's on the coil I think I don't know I don't know how well it works like I said this coil here is really clean so look you can see through it probably so I don't think it really makes too much of a big difference but over here we're gonna get this panel off this coil is a little dirtier and we're gonna spray that down with the foaming cleaner. We have a can of each left, so we're gonna get in here and get this other side of the coil. Let's do it. Yeah, I'm high off a round of applause, taking the cash to deposit. All of that talking is polished. Fade out the gate, they sing praise, but I'm unapproachable, save it. Can't tell me shit I've been on with. Losing my grip and I'm slipping. We still alive, it ain't living. Anxiety fall through to cripple me. Your car's going missing. The devil busy, he tempt me. Too much elixir, my enemy. In my mind, it's like ten of me. They don't sound like your symphony. Sucking all of my energy. I'm not asking for empathy. Unless it's for the babies of the street, they a product of colic. Reality is running up to rob me of my sleep. The world be cold as gravity is pushing down. It's hard to breathe. Still it's solid on one knee. My pen is hollow, let it bleed. Trying to convince me that you give a fuck about my needs. How you finna fix the issue y'all don't even see? You can miss me with them empty gestures. I do more to get by without it. I'm a living legend. Yeah. You say you was right or die. I'ma need you by my side, yeah. I've been living on the edge. Trying to get it together Tell me, yeah. can you hold me down? Tell me, can you hold me down? I could really use your 
your presence Get mine in return, I know everything been hella hectic But that body so angelic, pull it quick Make you forget things for a minute, take it slowly When I'm in it, feel the flow, take all the tension That you pent up and expend it Don't pretend like you ain't worth way more than everything I got, you need to stop it When I'm with you, it's no limitation You playing games, give me attention, then you really face it but I'm no better, I've been guarded No, my rap sheet isn't flawless Pull some slick shit, got you on my line, live it I'm not careful with your feelings all the time The way I should be I need to I'm gonna pull over Just a new name Is it? Yeah, that's a big ass addition Yeah, I'm gonna pull over Yeah, that's a big ass addition It's when your boss or manager doesn't like you Or wants your bond tactics to make your life miserable Until you just go Back to it, I'm out of here All right, guys, we're just here doing a cleaning on this commercial boiler now. Let's go check it out. Here we are guys at the informative kind of section of the video where I'm going to talk about the cleaning process on this oil burner, servicing it. Right now I'm taking off the jet line to get the J tube assembly out of the blast tube. As you can see those electrodes actually have little plugs on them instead of the springs that drop down. And right there is about a year's worth of soot and grime built up on this assembly. So I'm going to coat it down really good with brake clean just to help loosen that stuff up. That's really going to help to um, just get the, the main bulk of this crap off of there. We did hit it with a vacuum on the end cone before doing this so that way any of that loose soot will be taken care of already but the rest of it's just going to kind of melt down and I'll be able to wipe it free with a rag. To get it clean you want to polish up those porcelains because inside the blast tube they help reflect the light actually well the brighter you can keep it in that blast tube um, the easier your CAD cell eye is going to sense flame and the lower your ohm reading on your CAD cell and resistance is gonna basically see a better better flame you want to get that number as low as possible so we didn't have the nozzles for this this boiler it calls for two 650 45 nozzles so as you can guess that's a pretty big nozzle your common house nozzles like a 75 is probably your your most common so massive nozzles on this big steam boiler so what i'm doing here is i'm just taking apart the screen and i'm flushing it out with brake clean and getting any sludge that may have lodged in there from that got by the strainer you know and just getting that out of there because anything in there that can mess up the spray pattern of that nozzle can cause a no heat call and we definitely don't want that this is a school here I'm working just snug it up the nozzle both nozzles we'll get them back in snugged up actually I'm gonna th I think I'm gonna yep here I am flushing out the line with some brake clean those can also get dirty in there you want to make sure you clean every part of this thing 
for a for a good maintenance at least. You don't want to be skipping over stuff. All right, I'm just tightening up that second nozzle there, <clears throat> giving it one final wipe down because I handled it again and probably smeared some soot around, but we're looking pretty good there. That's pretty clean. Sliding it back in now. Electrodes, you don't adjust on these as long as they're not burnt off because um, it's not like a residential burner where you're going to be able to adjust them with a gauge. I popped the CAD cell out. That looked good. One final wipe down here. All right. And there's the cleaning on that burner, guys. So here we have a couple McDonald Miller low water cutoffs here. What these are is devices with mechanical floats inside of them and they make switches as the water level increases or decreases. So as you drain it down or if the boiler loses water, the safety mechanism should shut off the boiler. So you have to drain these down monthly and make sure they stay nice and clean so crud doesn't um, hang up that float. Gonna drain the low water cutoff down and make sure it shuts off the burner. And it's out. That's working. That thing's doing its job. Should kick back in once the feeder fills up enough. Yeah, so pretty cool steam boiler here. Redundant. On commercial, you need two pressure trolls. This is a backup. Commercial, resettable. 
Check out that old expansion tank. It's pretty cool. Massive. This steam system does have a hydronic loop and it takes care of that indirect water heater over here. In the summertime, they run this hybrid we installed. So, pretty cool. All right, so this place is kind of like Chipotle. We got a burrito here. It's honestly a little bit better than Chipotle. Better ingredients and a lot more variety of things you can add to it. All right, guys, so I am back in the service truck. This thing's got a cracked catalytic converter and now the, actually the door handle from the inside won't open, the cable snaps, so a little bit of an inconvenience, but they ordered that and yeah, this truck's kind of been giving the owner some problems, but at least we have it back. We're able to work out of it again. It's better than a U-Haul. All my stuff's in here, all my tools, so uh, good to have it back. So I'm going to keep pushing this content, guys, trade-related stuff, gym stuff everything everything this channel is about so stay tuned and i'll see you in that next video peace